All right, so today I'm at 1946 Beth Avenue. It is a brand new build. I was actually at this house when it burned down. Not when it burned down, but after it burned down before. So there was no saving that house. So this makes sense. Um, I like the brown color. It does need yard work, obviously. I don't know if that's going to be included in the price or not. I will call and make sure. Um, I went in already. I just want to warn you that the fire alarms are going off, so you might hear that. But dude, <laughs> wide open. Wide open. Right into the kitchen. Granite. Nice stainless uh, appliances. Might write in the fridge into the offer and make them do that. Has a nice big pantry. No squeaks on the on the flooring yet. Coat closet. First room on the right is a bathroom. Nice big tiles. None of the bathrooms have doors or anything like that. So I would say that for the 500 price, we would make them either do the doors on the bathrooms and let you bring your own fridge or something. They, they're gonna have to do something or the yard or something. But this laundry room, main floor laundry, garage is out, we'll go that way in a minute. This room's probably 16 by 16. Closet, bathroom. The closet continues behind the door. And then the bathroom. As you can see, it's got a big shower with no door. So I would make them put a door in there. Because the shower curtain would be super corny. Let's check out the garage. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this house because it is a new build. They actually painted the floor. So that's nice. I mean, everything is done. A sheetrock is probably insulated in here. New garage door opener, new everything. Um, so. Okay. Main floor is sweet, big and open. I mean, they took this and made the trusses such that they can have such an open concept. And, and it has all the lights. <laughs> Not some of them, all of them. There's a deck with a view out the back. We'll go out there in a minute. The stairs are probably five feet wide. So you can fit your pool table down in here or go around back if you have to. Office space, desk, whatever, kids room, toy bus, pool table right here. Boom. <laughs> TV here. Blackout curtains on there. Blackout curtains on here. Some sort of picture to cover that up and make your 7.1 surround in here. That's what I'm talking about. So this is a utility room with a hidden, I think there's a few things in here that make me freak out that we will require an inspection for. Um, there's pretty big cracks in the foundation already. So this might be an existing foundation like down here, but cause I can't see having a brand new house has a big crack in the foundation like that. All the bedrooms are relatively big. I mean, this was 12 by 12 by 14 maybe, but and then once again, shower, no closet, or no door. Um, I don't, I don't really know where, I would put a laundry there, a stack of laundry unit and have that piped in, but it's nice, it's all new, smells really good in here. Another big bedroom. And then you got a cold storage. Or your gun room or whatever um, put your gun safe back in here put your collectibles in here switch out this door for an exterior door this is the low spot in the basement so all the water will come to here if it were to flood ever all the water from everywhere will come into here and that's normal um, once again out the back door or back window you reference not ever seen a picture of it mm -hmm. 
It's probably 25 feet to the back fence. We'll go back there now and show you what's up. Um, it does have a walkout basement, which is nice, right? It has a deck above. It does not have stairs, I don't think. Maybe it does. So, of course, redneck secure. Yeah. Does have stairs. Awesome. Okay, that's nice. But yeah, see, I mean, seriously, not much room. So we'll say that these are eight feet off there and then probably 15 feet off, maybe that way. So 25 feet across, new AC, new power, underground power. Sewer probably goes in the back. Uh, we'll go back upstairs and then I'll finish this up. Sorry. Trying to hurry through so we don't have a 25 minute video. But back up into the open. So, uh, I mean, the sun sets from this window, you're gonna be sick. <laughs> you're gonna come out here and you're gonna sit here. I mean, yeah, you do look right down on your neighbors. And there's no gutters right above here. So, you might wanna add a a little gutter so you can get water splashing up on your door. There's the view. So out there are buttes and then the sun will set here and that out there is American Falls. Yeah, it's not a bad view. Anyway, and you actually can for resale value you can kind of see the temple and a lot of people around here like to see that so this would also be a great spot for a rental anyway call me 208-241-9277 with questions have a good day guys appreciate you